Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to our story about Stripes, the reindeer, and Emma. On the last episode, we saw that Emma's coloring had come to life. Her new friend, Stripes the reindeer, was now wanting to go to flying school, but unfortunately, when they got there, something about his green stripes on his antlers that they said was too distracting for the flying school, and they wouldn't let him inside. Let's see what happens next. As Stripes walked away, Emma ran over to him. I'm so sorry that happened, said Emma. But there has to be a way for us to figure this out. Come on, Stripes, wait. Stripes just kept walking away and said, Did you see the way he looked at me? You should probably just go home. I'll be fine. Emma knew that there was no way she was going to leave her friend like this. What would you do if something like this happened to a friend of yours? Maybe you'd try to fix it. Right? Maybe there's a way to get Stripes still into the flight school. Yes, those are both great ideas. But first and most importantly, Emma needs to make sure that Stripes knows she's not going to leave his side. Emma ran over to Stripes and said, Stripes, you and I, you know, we're in this together. And there's no way I'm going to leave you out here in the cold like this. I love your green stripes. They're amazing. Yeah, but the school didn't think that. Well, I can kind of understand. You see, I colored those green stripes on your antlers to match the green stripes on my glasses. Emma tilted her head to the side to show her beautifully green striped glasses. I love my glasses because they help me see. But sometimes... It can kind of get in the way a little. Like when I'm running super fast at school, sometimes my glasses fog up, which makes it really hard to see through them. Wow, that would be tough, said Stripes. It is sometimes, but that's not going to stop me from having fun and running. And this is definitely not going to get in the way of us being friends. You mean that? You still want to be my friend even though they wouldn't let me into flight school? Holy smokes, of course, shouted Emma. And me and you, we're besties. Stripes paused as his eyes got very large. Besties? I've never had a bestie before. Wow, wait, wait. We're best friends? We're best friends! Very quickly, Stripes began to cheer up. Wow, I love how magical friendship is. Just like how that first flake of snow had a little bit of magic in it, being a good friend is also pretty magical. These two best friends immediately started working on a plan together. You see, the goal in all of this was to teach Stripes how to fly, right? So Emma grabbed her jetpack and they journeyed off to an open field where they could start practicing together. Maybe, with just a little bit of luck, Stripes could learn how to fly without even going to flight school. By now, the sun had come shining out through the clouds. Stripes climbed on top of a large rock and looked down below at a giant pile of deep, fluffy snow. This is where he wanted to jump and try flying for the first time. It was a great place to practice because if he fell, he would fall right into the fluffy snow below. Go Stripes, go! You can do it! Shouted Emma. Stripes didn't exactly know what to do. And he jumped and... Whoa! Poosh! He fell right into the fluffy snow. Are you okay? Stripes, are you okay? Shouted Emma. Yeah, just really cold. But I'm going to try it again. Over the next several hours, Stripes kept jumping and jumping and trying and trying as he still could not fly. It was time to take a break as Stripes and Emma walked over to the rock and sat down. Stripes was feeling a little sad. 
I don't know if I'm ever gonna fly. Yeah. What was I thinking? You have to go to flight school to learn how to fly. You can't do it by yourself. Come on, Stripes. Don't give up now. I believe in you. You can totally do this. We're getting closer by the minute. Come on, let's try again, said Emma as she pushed Stripes back up to his four legs. And it was just at that moment that snow clouds returned and snowflakes began to fall. Stripes climbed up to the rock, walked over to the edge and looked down below at the not so puffy snow down below. He had fallen so many times that that fluffy snow had been packed down to the ground. But as the snowflakes touched his green stripes on his antlers, they began to glow. And on the count of three, Stripes jumped off the rock. Whoa! Uh, Emma? What's going on? You're flying, Stripes! You're flying! She shouted. Sure enough, something magical had happened and all of a sudden, Stripes was a flying reindeer. Yes, his dreams had come true. He wasn't (laughs) exactly sure how but he was now in fact a flying reindeer. After making several loops and circles and flips and, whoa, that was a cool move. He finally landed back down on the ground next to Emma. The two of them were so happy, they gave each other a big hug and rolled in the snow. By the time they got back on their feet, they realized that they were no longer standing alone in the middle of this forest. How did you do that? Said another reindeer. All of a sudden, Emma and Stripes realized that they were now completely surrounded by dozens and dozens and dozens of reindeer all around them. Oh my, hello, uh, all of you reindeer, said Emma as she spun around in a circle trying to count all the reindeer, but there was way too many to count. Where did you all come from i thought we were uh, alone uh here in the forest I- i'm sorry if we disturbed you all said emma oh no 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 you did not disturb us we have been watching you you see we are also reindeer that were not let into the flying school just like you Holy smokes, now Emma realized that all the reindeer that she was looking at looked amazingly, beautifully different from each other. They all had different colors. Some even had wings. Some had stripes and sparkles. Others had beautiful patterns. And Emma began to think, are these the reindeer that were drawn by kids from all around the world? That is when it all began to make sense. The Schleich Reindeer Drawing Competition was something much more magical than we had originally thought. These reindeer were from the drawings that kids from all around the world had created. From every country and language, these reindeer surrounding Emma and Stripes represented the imaginations of millions of kids. In fact, all their colorings had come to life. So, if you colored one of those reindeer for Schleich, it was now standing in that field with Emma and Stripes. We have been watching you as you have been jumping off the rock. But now it seems you have learned to fly. Can you teach us? Wow, I'm not exactly sure I even know how it happened, but I can try. Uh, what's your name? My name is Peppermint. Peppermint was a beautiful reindeer that had been colored by a kid just like you. It's great to meet you, Peppermint. My name's Emma, and this is Stripes. We would love to teach you how to fly. Come on! Throughout the rest of the day, Emma and Stripes were able to help the other reindeer learn how to fly. It was truly magical watching all these reindeer with different colors and shapes and stripes and they all looked very different. I wish you could have seen it. It was truly magical. 
Even Emma was flying with them as she zoomed around with her jetpack. By the end of the day, they all landed back down in that field and were met by the same reindeer that had stopped them from entering the flying school. You know, the one that told Stripes to go away and never come back until he got rid of those green stripes on his antlers? How in the world did you reindeer learn how to fly without coming to flying school? Did you steal our flying secrets? Who's in charge here? This reindeer was very confused and a little upset as Emma walked closer to explain the situation. Well, Mr. Reindeer, you are looking at a group of pretty amazing reindeer. You see, those reindeer have many differences, but those differences did not stop us from working together. We discovered that by working together, we could uncover the secrets to flying. That reindeer's mouth dropped open as he couldn't believe that these reindeer had actually solved the secret to flying. Wow, this is truly remarkable. I've never seen something like this. You're going to have to come to the flight school now and teach all of our students what you have all learned. But I can't take off my green stripes of my antlers, said Stripes. And I can't take off my red stripes either, said Peppermint. Well, if that little girl is right about you being able to work through your differences together and uncover the secrets to flying, hmm, maybe we should get rid of the dress code at school. All the reindeer were completely shocked. They couldn't believe it. But in fact, it was true. By working together through all of their beautiful differences, they were able to not only uncover the secret to flying, but they were able to change that flying school forever henceforth. This school was now known for celebrating all the differences of all the reindeer that came to learn how to fly. They taught every reindeer how they were all better together. Wow. What an amazing adventure. I'm so glad that Emma was able to help her new friend not give up trying to learn how to fly because it led to something truly amazing. Yes, Stripes did learn how to fly, but I believe they also changed that reindeer flying school forever by teaching them how we are all better together. The end.